What is up guys, it is Robert at Gaming with me and welcome to a video talking about video game music. I love video game music, you love video game music if you're clicking on this, probably. I don't know, maybe you're just curious as to why you think, I think, video game music is so great. Now I'm not going to sit here and list all the great soundtracks I have heard over the years, although I will talk about some of them. I'm mainly here to talk about how video game music, the music, the soundtrack, the OST in a video game can impact your enjoyment of a game. I think one of the standout moments in games and even something like movies is the music, especially if it is fantastic. You know, a lot of the times, I will admit, I would say most of the time, I play a game and I don't notice the music. It kind of just sits in the back of my head and I don't, don't really realize it. It's just background noise. It doesn't really add to the game. But when you do have a something, some kind of great song, some kind of great piece, some kind of main theme, maybe a level that has just some fantastic orchestra or something, it really does impact, at least for me, my enjoyment of a game. Some of the greatest video games of all time are also some of the greatest video games of all time due to the amazing music with the combination of the fantastic gameplay and level design. My favorite video game of all time, and I always say this, is uh, Super Mario Galaxy, or Super Mario Galaxy 2. I, I, I guess Super Mario Galaxy 2, I'm not gonna get into that debate right now, it doesn't matter. But regardless, every single damn track in that world that they created is so fantastic, and it adds to the atmosphere. It adds to the excitement, to the enjoyment, to the smiles, that you have while playing the game. And that starts out immediately, especially in Galaxy 2, with that insanely amazing main theme. It's fantastic and it hits you getting excited ASAP as soon as you boot that game up. You feel the excitement, you feel that holy shit, you're about to go to a different galaxy with this fucking game. That's the same thing with another one of my favorite games, The Last of Us. The Last of Us guitar main theme is so damn great of course i love to just listen to it but while you're playing the game it adds to that tone to that somber tone in that original game it adds to that depth and emotion that you just saw in the intro of the game you not only feel the certain emotions in that intro from the characters of what just happened and joel's horrible thing to her his daughter but also the fact that that the guitar just comes in and and it really just hits you <laughs> it almost like sets that tone for the entire game and i think that entire game a lot of it is based around guitar and i absolutely love it one of my favorite gaming soundtracks of all time now is a game that i recently played which is earthbound uh you know the super nintendo classic that i recently played on back of the backlog an episode you should uh, check out if you haven't seen it it was really great from every town from Annette to tucson to three to four side to every single town that I ever checked out, any, any cave, I loved the music in Earthbound, and it only propelled my love for that game so much. And I think it's a trend, I've noticed that, that some of the greatest games of all time also happen to have the greatest soundtracks of all time. And I think, to be fair, that probably has to do with, well, you know, these developers care so much and they craft such a loving game that of course they gotta lovingly deliver on the audio front right and the audio front would also have to do with the soundtrack another thing why soundtracks in and video games i feel like are pretty important is because for the most part a lot of the games that we play the soundtracks have to technically loop for a very very long time you could be in a level for 10 minutes you could be a level for hours Maybe it's in a certain section of a certain area in, in like Xenoblade or The Witcher. The composers have a difficult task in making it where the music doesn't sound repetitive. That's why a lot of these gaming soundtracks sound really good, honestly, is because they're meant to be listened to in loop over and 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 over again. And it's why they get stuck in your head because you technically hear a two, three minute song 20 fucking times before you move on to the next song if we're being honest that's a pretty unique to that entertainment medium you don't see a, a movie soundtrack replaying the same song over and over again because movies are are made and edited in a specific time 
video games, they have to make sure that they have a song that they craft that can be listened to many times over a long period of time. A huge game that does this obviously is Animal Crossing. You know, they have every hour there's a different song and that song, that one song gets played for one whole hour. If you ask some random person to listen to one song for one full hour, they're gonna look at you pretty fucking crazy. They're gonna, they're gonna think, why would I listen to one song for one hour? <laughs> but as people who love to play video games, you experience the same song over and over again for long periods of time. In some situations, that could make or break a game. For one thing, my podcast buddies, you know, uh, The Juice is Loose, all of them definitely subscribe to the Terminator Juice channel. Uh, we do a podcast every Monday, but on there we talked about Yoshi's Crafted World and how disappointed we were in the music. Because a lot of the music, it's almost it almost felt like they had like two tracks in the whole fucking game. And it became so repetitive to the point that it would decrease your love for some levels because you felt like it was the same experience over and over again due to that same soundtrack. That's why composers for games really do have to be careful when crafting a song for a level. A game that I recently also played, Tearaway Unfolded, had a variety of great music, and a lot of them had, like, beat switches, which was very interesting. Um, I don't really hear that a lot in, in a lot of video games, and so I loved it. I absolutely loved the soundtrack in Tearaway Unfolded. The composer for Tearaway Unfolded tried to maybe think a way to maybe not make music as repetitive, and a good way to do that is to technically switch the beat every now and then. Music in games also very much adds to the overall atmosphere of a game. A big game like this is like Metroid Prime. I mean, every single damn song in this soundtrack just adds to the atmosphere of isolation. Like, Fenjana drifts with that eerie kind of sound. It just, it's, it's beautiful, yet eerie, and it just adds to that isolation factor. Just like Mario Galaxy, another theme is like the Halo theme. The main theme absolutely gets you pumped for this adventure of aliens that you're about to take on. It's a fantastic theme that sets up some epic journey. I could talk about so many video game soundtracks that I do love, but I'm just going to be naming names. You know, that's up to you for you to look them up if you want to. But there's so many fantastic soundtracks out there. Of course, I mean, there's thousands of thousands of games out there tens of thousands you know probably maybe a hundred thousand by now who knows there's so many damn games out there with so many different soundtracks so obviously you know there's always going to be one there's always going to be some that you're not going to enjoy or like for me they may be fine they may be passable they're serviceable for the actual game but they're not very memorable and that's most games in all reality for being honest and that's the greatness of fucking video game music man it adds to the damn game so much <laughs> i mean even outside of like video games i'll listen to a bunch of video game music outside and i'll listen to it in my car i'll be blasting some on that i don't know <laughs> hell another game that the music actually adds to the atmosphere is breath of the wild it doesn't have a ton of music that's always being played Breath of the Wild, but when it is, it's that subtle kind of theme that makes you feel that freedom, unlike the polar opposite of Metroid Prime's isolation feeling of its soundtrack. So yeah, guys, I just wanted to talk about video game music. It's phenomenal. Video game music adds a lot to, to life, you know what I mean? <laughs> you always could feel the, the greatness, the epicness, the sadness, whatever emotion the composer wants you to feel in these fantastic soundtracks. And like I said, I listen to them on my way to work. I'll be back. I'll listen to that. You know, no matter, I love video game music. Video game music is fantastic. There's some of the, the finest compositions <laughs> you'll ever hear anywhere, you know? And so, yeah, I love video game music. I mean, I think anyone that plays video games, of course, enjoys them a lot. Um, some may like them. My, may listen to them outside, maybe not. But uh, let me know what your favorite video game soundtrack. What do you think about gaming and sound and music? How do they work together? Let me know how you feel they work together. Because yeah, I wasn't talking about my favorite soundtracks, but you know, I was talking about how they kind of work hand in hand, gaming and music. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching. I think it was I thought it was a cool discussion. I've been wanting to talk about music and gaming for a, for a while now, actually. So it was actually like the first YouTube idea I ever wrote down. Because I love music and gaming. So yeah, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. <laughs> if you see my laptop in the back. Maybe you do. Maybe you don't. 
Uh, I'm going to be buying a, a desktop, which I did, but it won't be coming for a little bit. But uh, we're going to unbox that bad boy one day. Um, but I have to put it all the way in the back because the fan is way too fucking loud and it pisses me off and it goes with the mic. Yeah. All right. See you guys. Peace. Picked up a page, started to write rhymes all day, age averted to shine, spraying stage. But love the feeling of writing the rhyme, something inside me. For the complication, every time I could connect to ends. Shit, when I'm on the mic, it feels like everything is alright. All that depression, pressure, bullshit, music, calls that used the tools that just been through it. Invent new shit, maybe foolish, not a school kid.